is, is it even possible to multiply them? Well, the first thing you want to do is you want to analyze the dimensions of the matrix. So if the dimensions are 2 by 3, okay, and the other matrix is also, let's just say, a 2 by 3, you won't be able to multiply these matrices. You want the number of columns in the first matrix to be the same as the number of rows in the second matrix. So what I usually do is I write the dimensions down first, and I check to see if those middle dimensions match. If they match, what you're going to end up with are a matrix that has the outer dimension. So let's say that these matched here, you would end up with a two by three, two rows, three columns for your final matrix after you multiply them. So this actually is not possible. Let's look at another example. Say you had a three by one, okay, times a one by three. No problem. Here you can see that these ones are going to match you're gonna end up with a three by three, three rows, three columns. Now, in normal math, when you change the order, okay, say you multiply five times six, that's the same as six times five. With matrices, it's not always uh, the same, okay? Matter of fact, sometimes when you go to change the order, the matrix multiplication might not even be possible. Other times, you'll get a matrix that's a uh, completely different dimension. So you can see with this one, if we change the order, we would get a one by three, and then a three by one, the inner dimensions still match, but we're gonna end up with a one by one, which is a completely different matrix over here than a three by three. Even if you get the same size matrix, you're not guaranteed to get the same elements in that matrix. So matrix multiplication, it's not commutative um, with matrices, okay, like it is at normal multiplication. So let's look at some examples. Let's look at this first one. Let's analyze the dimensions. We have two rows, and three columns, so this is a two by three matrix. This one has one, two, three rows and one column, so we have a three by one matrix. You can see the inner dimensions, they match. We're gonna end up with a two by one matrix. So what I normally do is I like to draw the matrix so it has two rows and one column. Okay, so two rows, one column. And what I like to do, and I think this uh, makes it a little bit easier for students, is if you actually work backwards, you draw your solution matrix here, okay, your final matrix, and you say, okay, what uh, position is this in? It's in the first row, first column. That tells you what to do. You're gonna take that first row right here, and you're gonna multiply it by the first column. Now, what I like to think of doing is taking that row, rotating it 90 degrees like this, and it, the ones that match up, the elements that match up, you're gonna multiply those together, and then add all those products. So the other way to think about it is this is the first element in the row, this is the first element in the column, you're gonna multiply those together. Second element in the row, second element in the column, third element in the row, third element in the column, multiply those together and then add. So let's do this, we're gonna do two times one, which is two, plus one times zero, which is zero, plus three times five, which is 15. Okay, so if we simplify that, you can see we're gonna get 17. Now the second element, okay, here, is in the second row, first column, right? So we're gonna take the second row, first column. Again, I'm just gonna use that technique that I was telling you. I'm just gonna think about rotating like this. Zero times one is zero. Negative one times zero is zero. And four times five is 20. So if we add all those together, we get 20. So our final result is 1720. Okay, in the next example, let's look at this one. These are square matrices. See how they're both square shaped? They have the same number of rows as columns. And they're both two by two. You're gonna end up with a two by two. Okay, you can still use that technique I was showing you up there. You've got a two by two and another two by two. The inner dimensions match. You're gonna end up with a matrix that has these outer dimensions, a two by two. So two rows and two columns. Sometimes you don't need every element in this matrix. You're maybe just interested in say like this one. So you don't have to go in order. You can just say, well, I want this one right here. So you say, what position is that in? Well, it's in the second row, second column. Okay, great. Let's take that second row right here times the second column. We have negative two. Two times zero is zero. We're gonna add those together and we get negative two. Okay, so you can do them in a random order. Say you wanted to do this one here. This is in the first row, first column. No problem, we take that first row times the first column, so that's one times five is five, seven times three is 21. You add those together, that's 26. Now you can see I'm doing it in my head, but if it was more complicated, I would write down each product 
and then add them together separately. But if it's the numbers aren't too large, you can do it in your head. So let's look at this one here. This is in the first row, second column, first row, second column. One times one is one, seven times two is 14, 14 plus one is 15. So I'm multiplying, 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 and then I add all of them together. Last one, second row, first column. I take the second row, first column, that's negative 10 and zero, which adds up to negative 10. Okay, last example, I hope you're enjoying this video. If you are, subscribe to the channel and also check out at the end of this video, I'll have a link, okay, to a playlist that has other types of problems using matrices. So we have a whole uh, kind of group of lessons here with matrices that you can check out. So let's take a look at this last one. Now this one has a dimensions of one row, okay, by one, two, three columns. This one has two rows by one column. Uh-oh, what do we notice? Not possible, right? Because it's a dimensional mismatch, okay? So these ones you actually cannot multiply together. So again, I hope you're enjoying the video. Subscribe to the channel. Check out the playlist on matrices, and I'll see you in the next video. Talk to you soon.